So the next question is asking us to define the property of equality under addition, subtract, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So let's say we had a plus equals to b and then c equals to d. So there's four scenarios. Let's say we added these. Let me just write a better d here. So let's say we added these. Um, if we were to add these, we would get the following a plus c on the left side, and then this would be equal b plus d on the right side. So it um, doesn't really matter if b or d comes first or a or c comes first. Just remember when you're adding these to keep the variables on the left side on the same side and then the variables on the right side also on the right side. And then for subtraction, so we'll say this is the scenario for addition. For subtraction, we'd have a minus c, b minus d. So here the um, position of b and d is important. If we're subtracting equation one from equation, uh, sorry, if we're subtracting one minus two, we would get this. If we did two minus one, so equation two minus one, equation one, we would get the opposite. So we would get C minus A equals D minus B. And then the position of D and B and A and C would matter here. Okay. And then for the next scenario for multiplication, we would have A times C is equal to B times D. So this is also pretty straightforward. The uh, Position of A and C don't matter, just make sure to keep them on the left side. A and C on the left side and B and D are on the right side, as shown here. And then finally for division, we have A divided by C is equal to B divided by D. So in this scenario, we know C and D cannot be zero. So C and D cannot be equal to zero, otherwise we do not get a valid um, equation. Um, and then here, A has to be on the top. So if you're dividing one divided by two, uh, A would have to be on top and then B, C would have to be on the bottom, but they're both still on the left side. And then similarly for B and D on the right side. Uh, if you're doing it the other way around, if you're dividing two divided by one, then these two would flip and these two would flip. So you would get C over A is equals to D over B. So looking at the solution here. So here they outline subtraction. So the emphasize here kind of multiplying by a constant. So here, if you multiply A equals to B by a constant, then you would get C A C B. So, um, so we'll make some space down here. So if we were to multiply C times A equals B, we would get C A equals C B. And then similarly, if we were divide, to have A equals B divided by a constant c, we would get a over c equals b over c. So it applies to both sides of the equation in this scenario. And then here c cannot equal to zero. So the solution here is correct.